We've already done the bulk of our authentication work. We've been able to log into an API. We've been able to get a token, save that token. Now the last part of our authentication workflow is that we're going to send that token as part of the request when we make calls to our API. We'll be doing this manually inside of our user service, but I would highly recommend this Angular 2 JWT package which is a helper library that will attach the JWT to your requests automatically. Now we'll go ahead and do all that for you, but I'd like to go and demonstrate how it would work if we were to do it ourselves. We, are, we already have that token in local storage here, auth token. Let's work on adding that to our user service so that when we get a user, let's say this page could be authenticated, we'll have to pass in that token to get that information. Let's close all these out in user service. We want to get user, and this is where we're going to handle attaching a token. Now the accepted way to attach a token, let's go look at our network tab. The accepted way, if we refresh this, is that we have this get request here, HTTP, REC, res, API, users2. We can look at the request headers, and this is where we would add in our token to the headers. We're going to add it in as an authorization, and on the right side, we'll call it bearer, and that's just the accepted way of doing it and adding in that auth token right after it. Let's work on that now. First, we need to create a new headers object. Let headers equal new headers. We'll also say let token equal local storage dot get item off token. Now we can say headers dot append authorization. We'll use the backticks because this is a template string bearer space token. Now that we have our headers, and this is an HTTP GET, we'll pass it in as headers. We'll pass this in as the options, which is the second parameter for our GET call, headers. Now if we were to do a POST call, it would be the third property here, so that would be headers there. And that's because the second parameter is the payload of that post. We don't have headers here. Let's go grab that from HTTP. Save that. Let's take a look at our app and see if it was able to send that through. If we go down here, we have our get request. And let's bring this up higher. Under headers, we have authorization bearer, and we're passing in that token. Another good one to pass through to an API is headers.append, and we'll call content type application JSON. And this is just to tell the API what kind of content that we'd like to see, and that's JSON. Now, if we come back over here, we're able to see our HTTP call, our authorization with our bearer token our content type with application JSON, and everything will work exactly how we want it. We're able to get that information from our API. And that's a very simple way that we can go ahead and add and append that token to our request. Now we've taken care of all those steps that needed to happen for authentication in our application. We've created a login that got us a token from the API. We've stored that token. We've been able to log out and destroy that token. And we're also able to send that token through on separate requests. Again, I would recommend looking at that Angular 2 Jot helper, which is going to attach tokens for us. Or if you wanted to do it yourself, that's also an option. All right, that handles so much of Angular 2's HTTP library. And I think that that will help 
build out any application that you'd like to use. Let's go ahead and do a recap in the next lesson and then we are going to call it a good day on this course.